Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Friday. Okay guys, so I have been chasing down with my pizza burn, my missing tooth. I have been chasing down because I got a ticket. Believe it or not. My, I think it's like my first ticket. Speeding ticket. On my birthday. And the ticket has disappeared from my home. So I'm like, how do I find the ticket? They said, you have to call the magistrate. And I'm like, I don't even know who that is. So then I'm searching it. I'm looking. I'm trying to pay the ticket. Then I call my dad. My dad's like, they're going to suspend your license. I said, oh, no. And then I call my mom. My mom's like, you're going to jail. I said, I can't go to jail. This has been a day. But now we're back to talk about the fact that Stassi Schroeder is landing herself a new spinoff. So, yes, Henny. And that's some good news. And then I'll get back to the magistrate. Here we go. All right, guys. So we have to start with this. But before we do... Check this out. Everyone's always asking me about my skincare, and <laughs> with the press of a button, this is my little go to best friend. This is Blue Mean, and you can change the settings as you can see on the colors, and each one does a different thing. But it feels like a gentle massage, as you can hear the vibration, feel the vibration. It lifts, illuminates, rejuvenates, and takes out all of the inflammation from your skin. Normally, Blue Mean is about $150, but if you click on my link, you get $70 off. And the best part is, is if you don't absolutely love it, you get 100% of your money back guaranteed. With that, let's get into this, shall we? I think we shall. So thank you to Reality Blurb. It's official. Stassi Schroeder is returning to reality television. Now, years after being fired from Vanderpump Rules, the 35-year-old mother of two is set to star in her own Hulu docu-comedy called Stassi Says. Now she's also joining the cast of Lisa Vanderpump's Vanderpump Villa for season two. Deadline confirmed the news on August 8th, yesterday on my mom's birthday, revealing that half-hour episodes of Stassi Says will be created by Stassi and the former Vanderpump Rules producers Aaron Foe, or Foy, and Jenna Rosenthal. And will be executive produced by the three of them, along with Scout Productions. Endlessly relatable, utterly hysterical, and questionably sane, Stassi is the anchor of a fresh ensemble of comedic and chaotic characters who are dealing with identity crises and major life crossroads of their own. And Stassi's the one who has to keep them all afloat. Hmm. Huh. In addition to starring in her own series, Stassi is set to reunite with her former boss as a full-time cast member on Vanderpump Villa as a part of her development pack with Hulu. Now, the show follows the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star as she hosts guests at Chateau, her chateau, in south of France, well, a chateau. And following the announcement of her deal with Hulu, Stassi took to Instagram, where she shared a photo of herself and Lisa, along with the caption that read, you know, I'm walking around these halls pretending to be European royalty. Lisa also took to social media as the news was revealed, and she shared a joint post with Stassi. Well, hello there. I want to welcome you back to Vanderpump Villa, season two. Now I'm sitting here, and I'm thinking, what should I put on the menu? Any ideas? That's what she asked as the camera panned to Stassi. And Stassi said, Lisa, obviously goat cheese balls. And she said, excellent idea. Cheers. She then turned to Stassi and told her, welcome back, darling. Mm. Mm. Can I just say, this is what we've been waiting for. The fact that this woman, Stassi Schroeder, did not take the valley. She was offered the valley. She did not go back to Vanderpump Rules. She was offered Vanderpump Rules. The fact that she did not go back to something because it did not suit her life at the time and she knew her worth. And she was like, I am going to do me, but I'm not going to compromise the stage that I'm at in my life with where I'm at with my husband, where I'm at with my kids, where I'm at with my family. Something will come along. So if I sit out and wait, I think that the risk is worth the reward. 
and she's finally getting rewarded, I'm like, oh, dude, this is incredible. She's a monster, but in the best way. Like, I'm living for it. And I don't know what a comedic docu-comedy situation is going to look like with Stassi Schroeder. I really don't. Um, I mean, to be honest, just because it's Stassi doesn't mean it can't be a flop. It can still definitely be a flop. But I'm hoping it's not. And I'm hoping that she really just, like, brings it in. Land the plane, girl. Land the plane. I'm hoping Taylor Streckner is also a part of it. We're going to end up seeing. We're going to find out. But I want to hear what you guys think about this one. So definitely pop off in the comment section. And um, I guess with that, let's move on. To the Real Housewives. Oh, God, that is not the one. A Beverly Hills. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Garcelle Bouvet said yes when asked if Dorit Kimsley was a super bitch on the upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, which according to a producer just wrapped, Garcelle also revealed that she spent $6,000 on a dating app with high-end men. Now, before season 14 started filming, Dorit shared that she and her husband, PK, had separated. But in the prior season, Dorit addressed their marital difficulties, but many fans claim that she wasn't forthright. On Sirius XM's Jeff Lewis Live, Garcelle said, it'd be nice to see the real Dorit. Jeff then asked if she thinks Dorit is kind of putting it on. Yeah, I do. I mean, I've said that before. This season, I'm not allowed to say a lot, but she is on fire. I think that's because a lot of things are going on with her. But when asked if she's on fire in a good way or a bad way, Garcelle said, it depends on where you start. Now, Jeff then wondered if Dorit was being a super bitch, and Garcelle said, yes, agree. She's definitely activated, and you know where it's coming from. There's a lot going on, but everybody has stuff going on, right? So are we going to excuse that? But Garcelle later claimed that she spent $6,000 on a dating app with top guys like CEOs, which Bethany Frankel recommended. I want to say it's called League. I go on it, I'm looking, and you have to pay. And I'm like, I don't want to pay to meet a guy. I mean, that seems weird. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it. It was like $399 a week. And these are high-end guys. So you got to pay for it. So I go on it, and I look. And I'm like, hmm, it's not really my type of thing. So I got off of it. So cut to maybe six to eight months later. I'm on my app stuff. And my son, Jax, comes down. And I go, hey, Jax. There's a particular app that I want to get off of. How do I do it? And he comes, he grabs my phone. And he goes, mom, why do you have all of these things that you're paying for? He goes, a dating app? And I go, no, I'm not on a dating app. $6,000 later, I wanted to throw up. I couldn't believe it. I've never, I never ended up canceling. And she claimed that she got not one dick pic from the app. Now, meanwhile, at LAX, the Beverly Hills producer confirmed on his Instagram stories via at the blonde Puerto Rican on Instagram that filming has wrapped on season 14. And he said, that's a wrap. This is him. That's a wrap. Well, thank you for sharing guys. I want to hear what your thoughts are, especially on whether or not you will be watching the Stassi spinoff Stassi says, but also are you excited for her to be joining Vanderpump Villa season two? I don't know in what capacity she'll be on, but I wouldn't imagine a large one but I am curious to hear. Now guys, pop off, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and don't forget to check out Blooming. I am pinning the link in the comment section and description. Love you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.